In this episode, we highlight a family of innovation, the Rice family. Edwin W. Rice was a pioneer of early electric power, a friend of Edison and Thompson, and the second president of General Electric. Martin Rice, his brother, was a mastermind of the first global corporate relations campaign and Chester W. Rice, a pioneer in audio, sonar, radio, and much more. It's a fascinating uh, comparison of these three individuals, each of them uh, representing a different aspect of the, uh, what you might call the in industrialization of the world. The Rices started in the infancy of electric power and carried on to watch engineering change from the realm of the tinkerer to the scientific mind of modern engineering. Travel with us back to the 1860s to begin this fantastic story of the Rice legacy. There were few industrial executives of that period who were so young in years, and so discerning or so prolific, as Rice. Author John Winthrop Hammond. Edward Wilbur Rice, Jr. is born in La Crosse, Wisconsin in 1862. His father, born in Gloversville, New York, was a congregational minister and a successful religious writer. The family traveled across the country until settling in Philadelphia in 1870. It is here that Rice would meet his lifelong friend, Elihu Thompson. Thompson would go on to become one of the greatest electrical inventors of all time, perhaps second only to Thomas Edison. Thompson is a young chemistry professor in 1876 when he gives a lecture on the characteristics needed to make a dynamo successfully operate a circuit of arc lights. Rice, a 14-year-old high school student, is in the audience and takes an instant fascination to the subject, 